I don't know you, but here's what I know about you, based upon my own experience, that you have something special. You have greatness within you. Here's what I know about you. There's certain kinds of people who say yes when they're presented with this opportunity. Because this is not for everyone. This is not for the faint at heart. This is for people who have goals and dreams that they want to achieve. Stop wasting time. Don't die full of leftover things that you want to do. Cemeteries are the place with the most wealth, an area where people are lying but never had a chance to finish their dreams and realities and had so many things that they want to do. Your dreams have to be bigger than all your fears. See, that's why you have to have big dreams. Because your dreams have to be bigger than all your fears and all your consequences. What makes people go back is you dream too small. See, your problem in life ain't if you aim too high and you miss it. Your problem in life is if you lay aim too low and you hit it. That's what you messed up now. So when you aim to the moon and you miss, you still amongst the stars. So it kind of keeps you motivated a lot longer than to help you push through. Because everybody's gonna have to have a push through moment. If you don't have what you want, stop telling yourself a story because you don't have the money or the time. That's bullshit. It's because you haven't committed yourself where you would burn your boats. If you want to take the fucking island, burn your fucking boats. And you will take the island because people, when they're going to either die or succeed, tend to succeed. You have to want something so big that it wakes you up in the middle of the night. You have to want something so big that you think about it all the time. You have to want something so big that it drives you to wake up when you don't want to. It keeps you up at night when you've long been sleepy. It makes you show up, do things you wouldn't normally do. It requires extra. If you want to be extraordinary and not ordinary, if you want to be ordinary, live your life. But if you want to be extraordinary, you have to be extra. If you put extra on top of ordinary, that word is extraordinary. It requires an extra effort. If you, now, if you don't want to do the extra effort, you finna be regular. There's nothing wrong with being regular. A lot of people are happy being regular. I just wasn't. I ain't want to be regular. So when we were coming up, you know, it was, you know, graduate from high school and get a job at the plant. Oh, Y'all got to hear what I'm saying. That, that, that was the vision we were given. Huh? That's what we talking about, the vision, right? And so they gave us a vision, Ford. They gave us a vision, GM. They gave us a vision, Chrysler. And I didn't even know God had a bigger vision. So I want you to think about your financial freedom number. Everybody right now, as you think about it, hold up your right index finger. Good. You don't do anything else, do this. Now put it in your ear, put it in your ear. And just listen to me. I just want you to listen to me. You have something special. You have greatness within you. You have the ability to do more than anything you can ever begin to imagine. There's an entrepreneur in you. You have million dollar ideas, billion dollar ideas in you. And I want to warn you, don't ask yourself how you're going to do it. How is none of your business? My favorite book says, lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy path. There are things you can do that you don't know right now. So don't worry about how, that's none of your business. There's some of you here who cannot afford to be here, but there was something in you that said, I can't afford not to be here. And you got here, you showed up. There was something in you that said, I've got to make this happen. There's something in you that said, there's a bigger life waiting for me, calling my name. There's something in you that says, I'm on my way to a greater life. I speak into existence that you will live out every dream. You will be the millionaire and you will be a billionaire. When you don't understand the power of your words, you don't understand the power of manifestation. You become what you speak. In order for you to manifest your dream, you got to be the first one that believe in you. Don't worry about what nobody else say, man. Speak life into your dreams. God told me that 
you must be a millionaire because I've given you so many gifts and so many talents and so many resources that if you use all of them, you ain't got no choice but to be a billionaire. Can anybody have 10 or 15 or 20 times our IQ at 100? No. Well, then why do people every day achieve 10 or 20 or 50,000 times more than we? If they can't have an IQ 10 or 20 or 30 times more than ours, because they dream bigger than you eat. And think it, think it not strange when you have goals and dreams that, that you'll face the fiery furnaces of this world. Be not be surprised that family members and friends and people who should be there to encourage you and to motivate you, that they will try and discourage you. They'll call it a pyramid scheme or some kind of get rich quick scheme. People who can help you out and won't help you out because they know too much about you and they don't believe, they can't see this new you. Don't allow those negative naysayers, the people who are suffering from possibility blindness to stop you. Had I listened to them, I would not be standing here. Had I listened to them, I would not be traveling around the world living my dreams and not my fears. There's something in you that says yes to your life, yes to a greater future.